so now let's talk about tcp dump which is also a wire shark captured you can say so tcp dump is one of the utility to capture packets so first of all guys why wire shark is required why tcp dump came into picture now if i talk about this tcp dump why it came into picture so it came into picture because let's say customer report issues related to url hey vidit or hey skill inspiration look at me my url is not working which is hosted on f5 customer will come to me now what are the scenarios what i will check so i want this to be interactive so let me start just unmute you all so that we can do wireshark captures together now i want answer for anyone this is a live troubleshooting scenario you will see customer says that my url is not working so i will speak the name they want to bala what would you check and customer says that my url is not working via f5 what are the things you will check okay um, we'll check the uh, ip address to fkd and mapping excellent very good answer guys this is i will be happy if you answer this first you will check whether dns resolution is happening correctly or not right bala yeah correct yeah what is the second case it is working fine okay so um... okay then i have to check the and on the f5 i will verify the vip is up excellent uh -huh. you will check whether virtual server is up your pools are up if vip is okay. up then pool members are also up yeah. most of the case okay. now the third scenario okay now uh No, I'm not, not, I just think talking I'm... about the network, just take into consideration wire shock and a network TCP connection and all. <coughs> what you will check next? IP reachability. Uh, if yeah. Now DNS is up, your VIP is up, your pool members are up. Third scenario, what you will check? Okay, I'll check the server applications are up. Um, that is your, uh, that I've checked through this. Pool itself, okay. Just give me. Fazil, what you will check? What is the next scenario, Fazil, you will check? You can unmute yourself so that you can understand Wireshark. This is important. Fazil, uh, can you sorry, unmute Actually, yourself? I was on call with my own emergency. My oh, company okay. has some problem. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, no problems. Any uh, Abhishek Bansal, can you unmute yourself? What you will check next? See, guys, let's make it interactive because this will help you in even in your production environment. If there is any firewall, we will check whether it's whitelisted or not. Excellent. Your rules, firewall rules also. Next thing. See in front the source IP and uh, check the status whether I'm having any connection from that IP. Excellent. So you need to check whether F5 is receiving traffic or not, right? When client is connected to VIP, even VIP is up, maybe F5 is not getting traffic, right? You want to make sure that your virtual server is receiving traffic and forwarding to your pool member. That's what you want to say? uh yes like uh that is what i try to uh yes sir that is what you need to check right you want to make sure that yes. traffic is coming to f5 right to process through f5 if it is not coming then it can be issue anywhere in mid middle uh yes what next you need to check now traffic is receiving on f5 now i am saying that f5 is receiving a traffic but F5 is not forwarding to pool member. This is the scenario I'm saying to you guys. 
F5 is client to F5 connection is building up, but F5 is not building a connection with server. How you will check it? Client is making a three way handshake successful, but F5 is not making a three way handshake with server. I'm getting a reset from server. How you will check these things? Then I will do uh, either packet capture or TCP dump uh, in either interface. So there comes your wire shock capture. When you have done the basic checks, but still you are not able to find the issue, then what is the component which comes into picture? TCP dump. So what you will check in TCP dump? When you take a wire shock capture, what are the things you will check through wire shock? Anyone? Probably this, uh, three way handshake will should happen between uh, uh, F A and uh, uh, now let's full say members. this is an HTTPS connection. Okay, HTTPS. I am accessing a URL on HTTPS dot com. Now what you will check? You have checked everything on web pool members. Now you have done the capture. You have taken Wireshark. For doing Wireshark capture, there is a utility called TCP dump. Which makes sure that you can check whether you're receiving packets in and out. Okay, first uh, that uh, TCP handshake will be checked, then SSL handshake. Uh, Excellent. Check. First, you will check TCP handshake. Now, guys, I will say that my one question here to you guys: Customer is accessing one ninety two one sixty eight one dot forty five. That is bind to this. But this virtual server is not there on F5. What issue I will see on Wireshark? Do I need to have a virtual server of a particular URL? If it's not there, what I will get it? F5 will reset it. Correct. F5 is by default what device? Deny device. Until you have a listener configured. F5 will not process a packet. Any confusion on this? For any URL which needs to be hosted on F5, you need to configure virtual server or you can say listener. Now TCP handshake you have checked. Now you will check what? SSL handshake. What you will check in SSL handshake? Certificates. Just give me one minute. Uh, yeah, Abhishek, you can. I need to ask Rajiv or Sachin what it will check in SSL. What you will check in SSL handshake? Rajiv, can you unmute yourself? Let's make it interactive because it will help you. See, Wireshark utility. I will tell you one command, it will over your Wireshark. But I wanted to capture the scenarios why it is required. What do you check in SSL handshake, Rajiv? Okay, Rajiv, don't want to answer. Uh, Tanme or Sayyad Ashraf? Uh, sir, uh, so I'll check client hello. And what you will check in client hello? Let's say SSL handshake is getting failed. Why okay. it is happening? Anyone? Uh, sir, it, it, it should be, I mean, because of, I mean, TLS version mismatch Excellent. or cipher suit. Excellent. So you will check TLS versions plus cipher suits. After that, let's say SSL is fine. After that, what you will check? <coughs> Um, after SSL. F5 is which device? It is the full proxy? Uh, yes. So you will check F5 to server connection or not? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so backend connection, we, we need to check. Will you check whether server is returning traffic or F5 or not? All right, sir. Yes. If it's an HTTP packet, will you check whether you are getting get packet what you are receiving or not? Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. Sir. Sometimes you will see when you go here, I will show you one scenario. 
you will go to virtual server go to login into this go to pool go to particular pool sometimes what you will see is you will see in packet but not out packet you will see that in packet is increasing but out packet is zero so it can be issues when out packet means that f5 is receiving a packet from client phone member is receiving a packet but it is not sending further to your server maybe it can be snat issue it can be routing issue so in that case you need to check the routing things whether server gateway is f5 or f5 is reachable see if pool members are up mostly the scenario you will say that right okay it's fine but it can be scenario your gateway is different or something i have seen even your pool member is up but still f5 is failing with the pool member so there can be so one scenario is slowness issues guys when someone reports slowness issues what can happen anyone wants to answer this url is working fine but it is slow what can be scenario in this case any two use cases for slowness issues in f5 i will not ask tanmay harsh can you answer this uh, if, or vikas if end servers are like uh, exhausted sources are Port uh, exhausted or we are getting any six in the connection table what does that any things that that is sometimes you will see in lab environment you can see any six by default also mm -hmm. but anyways uh one scenario can it be like there are three servers which were up previously maybe one server is flapping or one server is down can it cause slowness issues previously in a pool i had rgb servers but out of that blue and green servers are down will it cause slowness issues or not yes yes single server is uh, handling all the requests and can it be the case that let's say if pool member is flapping at that time will you get sometimes request timeout or not yes, yes. so what can be scenario when pool member is down coming up and down the intermittent connection issue now what you will check why it can happen will it be due to server side or it it can be from f5 side also sir uh, this uh, i mean uh, monitor may be i mean excellent can call so health monitor you need to check it so that comes under logs file i will tell you how to check whether monitor is flapping or not so there is a login feature available you can check it so you go here local traffic pool members there is one monitor login option enabled so if you select that that will give you an alert for that <coughs> so that i will come right now so how all the logs you will find in this related to monitor in this where log atm file that i will come into logs maybe next class i will do it now how to take a wireshark capture so let's come across that so in our case we have network interfaces i want to capture only wireshark capture on my in what i will say external interface i want to capture all my traffic of external interface not internal interface so what you need to do so there is a command tcp dump minus i 1.1 this will only capture traffic on a single interface so i'm just telling you some filters which are important you you can get on google also but i am telling you the main 
this is to capture from a particular interface now i want to capture from any interface whether it's an external or internal so this is the command tcp dump minus i 0.0, .0. what does it represent guys anyone 0.0, .0 interface it's any can i say all interface or any interfaces yes. because f5 format is like 1.1 1.2 1.3 this one is a slot this one is a port numbers now i want to capture traffic on a particular ip address can anyone tell me what is the syntax for that i want to capture a traffic for one virtual ip this is my virtual ip what should i enter i want to see traffic coming to this ip and going out from this ip so this is the command tcp dump host then virtual server any confusion so far on this see the big command i am segregating into small commands so that it will be easy but in you need to remember one command only when you take a capture but to segregate it i am just dividing so when i run the command right i enter this command tcp dump minus i 0, .0 .0, then host ip address or host server ip what does it mean why am i entering this command this ip this ip or this ip why so that i can capture end to end packet because f5 is a full proxy architecture <coughs> but here i was also mentioning something like n n n p what does it means n n n p see this is also will capture the packet but if you take this capture and np so what does it represent i will show you this is very very important this comes into picture when you need to type capture internal packets also inside also when you open a k generally they will ask you this capture so see basically this is to capture tcp dump s is for size any size zero packet i is an internal interface then there is a command n n n n represent low details low and mediums and low medium high maybe this capture might not be useful for you but when you open an f5 case let's say you're not able to resolve the issue in that case f5 captures the packet like this so what does it helps them is it will give you details related to flags like ingress flag slot number what is the type of interface what is the whip it is taking what is the port so it will enter your flow whole flow it will give you an idea so that is why i have always <coughs> mentioned this command maybe this is not helpful to me but see this will helpful to f5 technical support see some details we cannot capture inside our engine but they have a detail they have a kb articles for that so you can refer this article in future cases so this is how you will get it guys it will give you packet coming from which client remote address is what what is the port everything like this and s0 represent to capture the whole packet so this is how you capture tcp dump minus s0 then 
इंटरफेस नेम एन 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 एंड माइनस डब्लू गाइज वट डज माइनस डब्लू रिप्रेजेंट वाई आई राइट माइनस डब्लू इन टी सी पी डम्प एनी वन राइट द आउटपुट टू दिन फोल्डर विथ ए नेम Why I need to do this? Uh, because sir, I need to particularly save this in my I mean uh, folder to I mean fetch this uh, afterwards. That to is open fine. That file in Wireshark. Excellent. Wireshark can open the packet using which for format? Cap. P cap. Correct. That is why you need to write. Otherwise, if I write this one, what will happen? I will show you. If I generally keep this. TCP dump minus i zero dot zero. It is clumsy, right? You are not getting much. See, according to me, I am not good in this one. Until I capture on wire, Shak. This is how you will get it. So to capture or write it, I want to capture using write p cap format. So this is how you can do it. and 0.0 represent any interface now someone will have question for how much time i can run this packet capture guys guys this packet capture is cpu utilized so when you capture a packet you need to make sure that your customer joins the call or your application owner is on call so that once you identify you can close the capture after that so you can press control c so that is how f5 helps you to enter this so what is you need to do what i am was doing in the capture run just remember this command tcp dump minus ni 0.0 nn host 192.168.1.45 or 10.2.2.32 after that write abc.pcap just remember this command this will come useful every time guys trust me this command will always help in production you don't need to run anything else after this command so you can take particular egress interface or host but i always prefer using this command i always do this in my production environment so that i can capture the packets i will i am writing also i am taking any interface plus this is my whip this is my pool members any question guys on this this command you need to run Hello. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, so, how to take capture for particular source and destination? How to capture? Okay, that's a good question. So, you are saying how to capture for particular source and destination, right? Right. So, in TCP, there are let's say you want to capture for one destination host. What is my destination host? It's my virtual server. Let's say. So, you need to type like like this: TCP dump DST destination host. and if you want to only capture for particular source and destination let's say your source is 192.168.1.7 your destination ip is my virtual ip so this is the command tcp dump src host 192.168.1.7 and <coughs> destination host 
So this is the command. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. And after that, guys, once I save it, see, when once you start it, guys, you need to access. If I refresh, how to make sure that packet is getting. So once you close this, you ask your engineer to access now URL. If you get like this, it means your syntax is correct and your packet is captured. If you are getting zero packets here, means either syntax is wrong or they are not accessing the particular web. So that are the two scenarios to fail TCP dump. Otherwise, it is successful. How to take this file, guys? Anyone? How to take this file outside? So you need to run WinSCP. You need to go here. And you need to take into your desktop because that is saved in your F5 directory. Now I want to take into my external desktop to view it. So I will log in through win SAP slash root where then temp. So the, just copy that pack, packet capture file and just remove it here. Then after that, you can <coughs> open through Wireshark. <coughs> Any confusion, guys, anyone has on this? So this is how you take TCP dump, guys. All clear, guys? Tanmay, Kavi, other people. Yes, yes, yes I did. Uh, sir, I mean, one question uh, you can uh, uh, with it. Like, see, suppose if number of URLs are now we are uh, searching for one particular URL, right? So instead of yes, this is correct that I know, but I know. But if if there is hundreds of URLs are there, if we want to check only particular URL. We need to do all these things or, or we can other options are there like in the local traffic filtering the uh, from the f5 itself see first you need to get our ip right which ipc when customer report issues what you ask first so we can uh, like that what we are doing is that I, i'm never ever going through this f5 what we are doing is that we will take that uh, particular ip from uh, the customer who's using right. from the um, it's not about right? FIA. Your approach is correct. First of all, you ask what thing to them when someone reports issue that URL is not working. What you will ask to the yeah, like customer? Me. We will check that one, like whether if it is, I, I will I will take his uh, even his credential or some. No, that, sir. That that is not correct. Okay. First uh, thing, what you, you will ask my question? Is... Try to understand my question, Sarji. I'm saying that when customer report an issue that URL is not working, what is the first question you will ask to him? Uh, that means like what is the error you are receiving like in uh, like yeah that is what thing second hmm. all users are facing or only you are facing will yes, you ask yes. this question yeah, or right. not right same thing i will ask the whether your team is facing this issue or only for you and from which time you face this issue yeah right all this stuff we will check now next thing what you will do Next thing we will check that one, like in, uh, we will uh, do this, uh, what do you call this uh, DNS resolution over from their laptop and uh, we will check it. You will ask the URL which is facing issues and their IP, what is the IP they are accessing. Yeah, right, right, right. Then you will do NS lookup and find out the virtual yeah, yeah, right, server right. IP. Yes, yes, the same way. And even if it is if it is not, we will check with our server team whether it is in any problem with the, from the server side. 
one no, thing quickly you can do some scenarios that you bypass nf5 and check whether so this this question also i asked every time can you bypass f5 and check whether it's working directly through server if they bypass f5 mm -hmm. very important point mm -hmm. if they bypass f5 and directly through server also it's not working then it is it f5 issue or server issue that should be server issue so that is also an important question which you yeah. need to ask yeah right uh, but what i'm what i'm feeling is that like in a quick uh, troubleshooting cases like that even if you're capturing that one entire uh, interfaces that means we can say that port mirroring or something else like that For two minutes or we are capturing that one then we filter using that uh, wireshark and searching all these stuff but i'm asking is there any option in the f5 like in the local traffic uh, filtering options like means using that uh, customer user ip address we can search that particular url and we oh, got it. So you're saying got it. It's you are asking thing like firewall in firewall. If get a field like source IP and destination IP, yes, to check. Yes, yes, no, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here it is not there. You can only see the stats or connection table. Yeah, you can do it. What you can do sir, is just... uh, there is uh, one thing I mean, source is connection, something yeah, like sir, that. That is but... also I'm coming. That is connection table. You can see that first thing is this one. Another thing you can just type this show says connection then grab your customer ip or let's say this one here you will see the connection table that is also the to just to check it whether you are receiving traffic on f5 or not that one you can run this command shows this connection table but don't enter this whole command you need to grab it otherwise it will impact your production traffic particular either client ip or destination IP. In lab, sometimes it does not work this command, but it will give you a table. Source IP, destination IP connection, then F5 to the server. Two types of connection you will see, front end and back end. I think Saji, you were asking this, right? Yeah, right, right. This one, easiest method, then only we can go for a deep dive. <coughs> yeah, that one also you can do it, sir. So this is the connection table. It will just check the stateful table. And this table will only build when you receive a traffic. Otherwise, it will not. 